What is up YouTube, Brian here, back again with another video. Today, we got a couple packages from the Hookup Tackle. Um, it is the middle of May, but they already sent us our May JDM Bento boxes. We got these a little early, and then Ben sent me a little bonus package. So, uh, first off, if you are not following me on Instagram, you should probably check out my account. I'm posting all my day-to-day -day fishing stuff. I don't make a lot of on-the-water videos, um, but I do post a lot of on-the-water content, mostly down on the Instagram. So, give me a follow if you actually want to see uh, stuff that I'm doing out on the boat. Okay, so the first off, we're gonna open up the bonus package that Ben sent me. This was a special request because I know Ben um, and the hookup tackle finally. There's a double bag. I just, this is so weird to me. They they bag the FedEx bag within the bag. I don't know why. Very strange. Uh, I'm sure there's a logistical reason, but that's always interesting getting a bag within a bag. Anyway. Um, uh, this is a special cross I made to Ben because of the fact that I know that they got hats. They finally got the restock. So if you don't know, Hookup Tackle, they, they had a bunch of hats. They sold them all out. They didn't get a bunch of new ones. or they, they didn't get a restock for a while, but they did finally get a restock. And I shot Ben a message. I'm like, bro, I need some hats. Hook me up. So this is what he sent me. Let's go through them real quick. We got um, Ben likes the trucker hats. He likes the taller, bigger trucker hats. Um, oh, my gosh. These are not um, <laughs> these are not snapped to my uh, my head size at the moment. But anyway, we got the red and black. I'm sorry, red and black, red and white. I'm I'm just a little off today apparently. We got the red and white. We got the classic black with the hookup logo. And this is probably my favorite one, the new camo. We're gonna wear this one. We're gonna put this on. So this is the camo. Ooh, let me let me adjust it here real quick. So this is the camo with their red, white, and blue logo, which I think is actually pretty freaking sweet. Um, all right, now we're in full we're in full hookup tackle mode. So shout out to Ben, thanks for shooting these hats over, man. Really appreciate it. As a bald guy who is out on the water a lot, a hat is a 100% absolute necessity. So I'm never gonna say no to some sweet uh, sweet hats. All right, oh, let me get the tag. Okay, now we are in full um, swag mode here. Uh, we're gonna dive right in. This is a special JDM bento box this month. I don't know if everyone's been paying attention to all the hype in the Mega Bass Facebook groups and on Instagram, but there's a special, there's kind of a special color that Ben has brought to the Hookup Tackle bento box this month. We're gonna dive right into that. We're gonna look at the other stuff first and then we'll get to the main event, which is the extremely interesting color combination of the 110 and the Pot Max this month. Um, so as usual, I'm using my Benchmade bug out to open up these boxes. Still one of my favorite knives of all time. Uh, I have gotten out fishing finally, so my boat is repaired. I actually had my boat out last weekend in Wisconsin. Caught smallmouth. I actually caught a five pound. I caught a 5.1 uh, pound smallmouth on a 1 16th ounce hair jig. So a little teeny tiny hair jig, big old bass. That's what spring fishing is all about, right? So we got our card. Um, on the bento box this month, it says the Mega Bass. We're going to talk about the baby Kingo, which is, we'll get to that in a little bit. Also, something about a Lucky Craft collab color, Issa Dawn. Okay, yeah, so Ben's been working with Lucky Craft on creating some new colors. I'm guessing he dropped one of those in this box. I actually have one of those. Um, I got one of the pointers. I ordered this a little while ago, so this is one of Ben's collab colors on the pointer. Uh, anyway, let's dive into the box, shall we? Okay, on the top, we got, a, we got some plastics. So this is Professor. What is Professor? It's obviously a Japanese brand that I've literally never heard of. This is called a, this is a 2.4 inch natural green shad. I don't know the name of this plastic. I don't know what model this is. Let's, now just looking at it on the cuff, this looks like a drop shot bait of some sort. Okay, this is very interesting. Okay, you gotta peel these off yourself apparently. Whoa, these things are insanely salted. So I'm guessing we have to pull one off. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Let's see how this works. This is bizarre. This looks like candy, like you get at the movie theater. Okay, I don't understand this at all. So you're supposed to cut this off because I'm trying to tear it. I'm tearing it and it does not come up. Ugh, I just mangled one of them, trying to tear it off this thing. I don't know what this is. Apparently, you're gonna have to use a pair of scissors. These don't just are. These don't tear. They're not perforated. Um, so I tore one off. 
and I wrecked it. So you guys got all to see live me jack up one of these baits. So I'm assuming this is some kind of drop shot bait, um, nose hook it kind of a deal. I'm gonna have to cut these with a scissors or my knife and get these out properly. Weird, Professor, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Uh, maybe, I think Ben's covered this Professor brand in one of his Sunday tackle videos, but he does so much stuff in those videos, it's hard to keep track of what's what. So, I don't know, not super jazzed about this. Uh, I don't know why they wouldn't come pre-cut. So people are supposed to cut them open and uh, or cut them themselves. Why wouldn't you just, if you're making these baits, why don't you cut them so people can just take them out of the packet and then use them? Not a fan, not, not into that. Okay, let's see what else we got. We'll get to those later. I'm just gonna keep digging. Oh, we got a top water. Hello. Wake tail, floating, lucky craft. What is this bait? I don't know this one. The wake tail. It's a top water, but I don't know which. So this is the prop bait. Okay, we're just gonna pop it open. So I I I'm not a lucky craft expert, especially if they're top water stuff. I know the gunfish and all those kinds of things. But that is cool. So this is a prop bait. This is a walking side to side, dies probably a little bit kind of prop bait. I, I don't know, maybe are you supposed to walk this? Are you supposed to just rip it and rip it and pause like an X wrap? But I don't know, man, this thing is sweet though. Wake tail, it's called the Lucky Craft Wake tail. And this is in Ben's color. I actually have, what's funny is I already bought one of these. Like this is the same color as this mini, this light, um, this little jerk bait that he's tossed. So I actually have two of these now in the same color. So I bought this one a couple weeks ago, just on a whim. But now I got the prop bait. Um, the wake tail. I've never used this bait. I love top water, so I'm gonna throw this on the automat and give this thing a whirl. It's got a bunch of BBs in there. Um, so his color, this Isa Dawn, is supposed to be kind of like a take on Morning Dawn. So it's got kind of a yellow gold on the bottom, pink on the top, clear with a little translucent flash down the middle. This could be a really good clear water bait. I like this. This is cool. I did. I'm glad I didn't order one of these because Ben threw it in the box. So my hands like are super salty from that, those professors. Yeah, anyway. Whoa, we got a Z3. Hello. This is a really, really cool crankbait. So this is the new um, Mega Bass Z3. They already had the Z2. This is the deeper diver runner. I don't own any Z3s and uh, Omnia hasn't started carrying them yet. And I know Hookup's been selling the crap out of these things. So. If you guys don't know, the Super Zs are the very small crankbaits for Mega Bass, but they have the weight transfer, the LBO transfer system. Now I throw the Z2s and the Z2s cast really well. They, they cast like they're bigger crankbaits than they are because of that LBO, but they're a small profile. So which color is this? This is called GP Skeleton Craw. So this is a beautiful color. I'm really liking this color. Um, this is awesome. So. Not super jazzed by the pre the professor. Definitely like the the top water from Lucky Craft, and I'm really digging the Z3. Uh, I haven't ordered one of these. I haven't tried one. I, I'm gonna throw this on my swing fire. Um, I know these things dive like 12 feet, something like that. I, I like I said, I haven't used them, so I don't really know what the realistic running depths on these are. But this is cool. Very good color, and a new hot bait from Mega Bass. Well. I don't know if it's new. I mean, these have been out for a little while, but I, I know a lot of places aren't quite carrying these yet because uh, I don't know if Mega Bass is getting them to everybody at the moment. But anyway, stoked on the Z3. Okay, so I like the two hard baits so far is awesome. Still super confused by the plastic. Let's keep going. Oh, I feel a clamshell plastic. We got, and it, of course. <laughs> so Ben and the Hookup Tackle, they have their own color in the OSP Dolive Beavers. So um, I know in like the four inch and the three and a half inch, they came up with this color that they call the Taco Otaku's Recipe. Um, it's a green pearl, it's green pumpkin, but he put a bunch of flake in it. So it's got purple and copper flake in the green pumpkin. Now I know the last time they had this color, they sold them all and then they hadn't restocked in a while. So we'll let's take a, let's take a up close look at that one. Uh, yeah, so. It's just a green pumpkin with purple and copper flake. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. But I do like the Dole Live Beaver. I'm never going to turn down packages of these. I do. Uh, I have gotten into free rigging with these, and they do catch bass. I've caught plenty of smallmouth on the Dole Live Beaver. Um, I still use the Dole Live Stick a lot uh, for free rigging. Sorry, my camera's going off. Um, but anyway, uh, this is cool. Definitely like this. So 
this is much cooler to me than the professor, although I, I, I'll cut these things up and see what they do on a drop shot. All right, main event. If you guys don't know that the baby, so I got a Pop Max. Let's flip these over. Pop Max and a Vision 110 in the baby Kingu, Kingo, Kingo color. Um, so I actually never heard anyone say the name of the color, but I'm gonna call it King, Kingo, K-I-N-G-Y-O. Kingyo, Kingo, Kingyo. I don't know how to exactly pronounce it, but this is a color that is super hyped in the Mega Bass world. And let me tell you why. So a couple years ago in like 2019, this color came out in a bunch of smaller baits and they were a European exclusive only color. So meaning they, you could only get them in like France and there were certain European countries that had this bait, but only in the smaller baits like the Vision 110, the X80. So they never ever released this color in a full size jerk bait and in a pop max. Ben somehow worked his magic with Mega Bass and got them to produce these two colors in the full size bigger baits. And people are going nuts because this color in these smaller baits that were released in Europe in 2019 is becoming an extremely hot collector's item. People are flipping those things. They bought all the European and other sell like Japanese sellers got cleaned out when that color came out. People are like flipping and trading them. So this is like a coveted color in the Mega Bass line. And the fact that Ben got these and you could only get them through the bento box has a lot of Mega Bass collectors a little salty. <laughs> so people are trying to get these, uh, especially the hardcore collectors, because this is one of those really special colors that Mega Bass does. Let me take out a package and show you why this is so interesting. So this bait is beautiful. It's a kind of a pearl body. So I think they just take a regular white matte body. They add a little hit of pink, a little hit of orange. And they turn this thing to like, this is like a tequila sunrise cocktail. Like, you know what I mean? Like an actual drink. Like it looks like something you get on the beach in Mexico or something like that. But um, so the bottom is white, the top is white, but the body has that really, really interesting purple pink to yellow goldish uh, fade. And it's all matte. This is a collector bait. I, I'm gonna have a real hard time strapping this on and throwing it because I know that you know in the aftermarket, these things are just gonna just go up in value. Um, so will I throw it? I'm very tempted to, but I still have a lot of other Mega Bass 110s I need to get to. So this might sh sit on the shelf for a little bit. Um, and then obviously let's take out the Pop Max. Oh, let's read the card. Okay, the Mega Bass, Baby Kingo. This is one of the coolest and rarest matte finishes in the Mega Bass makes. If you like your baits, Baby Kingo is going to crush them for you. A special blend of pearl matte with some color shifting reds and oranges and sunken black eyes. This color will pop underwater. If you're a collector, then you know what you just got. Mega Bass made a small batch of this last year for the 110 Junior and the market went nuts. Now you have it in a 110 and a Pop Max. Ben, so I don't know if you guys know this, but this is one of those baits that everyone's hoping they would get when they, when, when we joined the, the but JDM Bento's box, people are hoping for just some really special, weird, collectible colors. And this ticks all the boxes. European exclusive has never came out in these baits. Straight, beautiful looking and uh, exclusive. Like you can only get this through the Hookup Tackles Bento box. So this is, this, this is the perfect storm of collectability and just straight, weird and cool. So I... Shout out to Ben for making this happen. When he posted teasers of this, I knew the Mega Bass collector market was gonna just start popping off and going nuts over these things. So Baby Kingo is here, it's out there. If you're trying to find these baits, good luck. You're probably gonna have to pay an arm and a leg. These might hit eBay once in a while, but the prices are gonna, people are gonna be cracking people's heads open for these things. You might be able to get a trade bait or, you know, I don't, I don't know how you're gonna get your hands on one of these, but good luck. I'm not selling mine. These are staying in my collection 100%. Also, there's a quick note on the card about the Issa Don uh, Lucky Craft topwater bait. He says, I've been working with Lucky Craft to develop some good colors for highly pressured and smart fish. In Japan, live bait is called Issa. So we work to create some quote Issa colors that can help trick fish that are super keyed in on the real thing. Issa Don excels in clear water and anytime you're fishing, uh, your fish are feeding on small bait, enjoy. So. The box this month, Ben, is banging. And I'm going to give this thing, even though I don't really know what the hell I'm supposed to do with these, I'm guessing it's a drop shot bait. I got to cut them up. So out this outside, we got an exclusive color in the um, Dolai Beaver. I got a Z3, which is, this is like a $20 crankbait. This is sick. 
I got a special color wake bait, top water prop bait that, you know, that's exclusive. This box is just full of exclusive stuff. So Ben, I got to give this box a straight 10 out of 10 on the scale. This is, this is amazing. This bait anchors the whole box, but you didn't just like sit and throw a bunch of other crap in with this thing. You threw in some fire exclusive colors plus a Z3. I didn't expect a nice, you know, high end crankbait to come along with this stuff because we got all this other high end nice stuff. So anyway, killer box this month, hookup tackle. You guys crushed it. Love the new hats. Going to be putting them in the rotation. I'm going to wear this one this weekend out fishing at my buddy's cabin. So anyway, that's the unboxing of the May Hookup JDM Bento Box. If you've made it this far in the video, please hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys really, really soon in the next video. Peace out.